Another day, some new food. So we ordered prawns tonight and uh, prawns. So check this out. Pull the head off, bam. Open this up a little bit here. It's kind of a lot of work. Open this up. Guess you gotta take the feet out. This is kind of what I kind of like what I do for the this is nice what big prawns. I, I uh, cook at home with the spicy uh, horseradish uh, cocktail sauce. Yeah, this is some serious work. Right here. Shave, shave needs a little work. Go, a little time here. So you pull the tail off, boom, and you're ready to go. Fresh palm, raspberry reef. She pulled the guts or the uh, crap poop out of the back of it, but you just went to town. It really doesn't matter. Tastes the same, right? Yeah, not at this point. I one, eat that one and kilo. Of those. Yeah. One kilo we ordered. Oh, not to mention. That's round one. One mud two. crab each. More is coming. Yeah. We'll be back. Yep. Ladies and gents, here we go. Here is your mud crab, your Australian mud crab. We've just about killed all the prawns, as you can see down here. We've only got a few left. Mud crab coming right up. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to this one. We just ate one kilo of prawns, just the two of us, like nothing. Now we're gonna dive into our first mud crab ever. This guy's kinda just hanging out. We're on it, we're on it. Ba bam we, we've already found out that these bad boys are way tougher than like king crab or dungeness crab or soft shelled crab that we'd have in the US. But there's a lot of meat and the meat is very, very good. It's good, but is it cooked enough? Is it cooked enough? That's a bad sign. Too Maybe much work. Just the way it is, right? Too much work.